In 1991, scientists made a discovery that every human heart has approximately 40,000 or so specialized cells configured in a way that creates a neural network in the heart. It's the brain-like cells, but in the heart and not in the brain. And the 40,000 specialized cells are called sensory neurites. What they found, that these cells think independently of the cranial brain. They feel and they remember independently of the cranial brain. And what that means, brain is every experience that we have is registered in two places. We are registering it in our mind, in our cranial mind, as well as in our heart. But if we were having a trauma, it would still be registered in both places. And if we try to heal that trauma only through thinking about it or talking from our mind, that might feel incomplete. The healing may feel incomplete, and the reason is because we have only addressed what happened in our cranial mind. We haven't addressed what happened in our heart. Here are some medically and scientifically proved evidence or sensory neurites in the heart. It would not be wrong if we call it little brain in the heart. This is a microscopic picture showing the interconnectivity between cardiac ganglia in the human heart. The light blue thin structures in the image on the left are multiple axons coursing between and connecting the ganglia. The image on the right is an expanded view of the ganglia shown in the rectangular box in the image on the left. This is a highly magnified view of a cardiac intrinsic ganglia taken with a confocal microscope which is able to take images layer by layer and then build a 3D image. Ganglia are made up of groups of nerve cell somata that exist outside of the brain and spinal cord. Each of the smaller circular structures shown is the cell body of an individual neuron. This image represents a cross-section through an intrinsic cardiac ganglion. In the center there is a mass of dendrites which interconnect individual neurons. This is the ideal structure for an independent neural processing unit. This drawing shows the location and distribution of intrinsic cardiac ganglia. Note how they are distributed particularly around the orifices of major vessels. This picture of intrinsic cardiac afferent neurons was taken with a confocal microscope. An afferent neuron is one that sends information to another neuron. These sensory neurons detect the local mechanical and biochemical changes that occur in cardiac tissue. They send this information to the rest of the intrinsic cardiac nervous systems, and in many cases to the brain. These images were derived from the work of J. Andrew Armour, M.D., Ph.D. and his colleagues, 